Hello everyone and welcome to another live from the workshop. So today we're going to be doing a, another Cyberman custom. This is going to be a Cyberman from the comic The World Shapers, which as some of you may know, or some of you may not know, is the comic in which uh, it talks about how a possible future for the Cybermen, or a version of parallel evolution, is where the Cybermen become Vord. And there are various sort of stages of Vord Cybermen seen throughout the story, but their final form, as it were, is seen in the form of what becomes the Cyber Controller of the Cyber Vord, and that is the custom that I am going to make today. So we have here a... Uh, a tomb Cyberman, um, which doesn't have the head. At the time of recording, the head is still a work in progress, but by the time you see this video, it has obviously been finished because you're seeing the video, and you will see it soon. Um, onto which I have put some um, uh, cat kind uh, nun, if you want to call them, gloves. Um, just to give the hands a bit more of the right shape with as many fingers. And then obviously on the torso, I have sculpted on the new torso pieces on the torso. <laughs> um, so what I'm actually going to be doing for this is to give the overall body a bit more of a metallic-y bluish hue as is seen in the sort of colour strips of the comic um, and then all of the piping and everything else is going to be done in a silver. So first things first is going to be to give it an overall repaint. So let's get straight on with that. And here is my finished World Shapers Cyberman. So, as usual, very pleased with how this has come out, but I really am pleased with how this has come out because um, the paintwork especially, the slightly sort of metallic bluish grey, was very difficult to do because, you know, it was, it was originally I just did a, a simple, um, a simple greyish blue, uh, you know, in a sort of matte colour, but then I wanted it to look a bit more, um, a bit more metallic so I mixed in a bit of silver paint but the problem is with silver acrylic um, you know it often makes paint much thinner so it was a lot more difficult to do so in the end what I resorted to was just painting it the overall um, blue uh, grey and then just gave it a quick brush over with the uh, with the simple uh, silver paint just to give it that metallic coating and it has come out really really well um, yeah, I'm also very pleased with the sculpting work on this, particularly on the front. I'm especially pleased with the sculpting work on this one, on the torso, um, because this is one that I actually... Um, uh, I did this figure many years ago, and then I never finished it, and I can't remember what I ended up using the parts for in the end. I think I might have ended up using them to do my um, Tomb Cyber Controller custom. But uh, in the end, you know, I've uh, done the same sort of procedure that I did before, but obviously I've had a bit more experience with the sculpting, so that's come out a lot better. And I am very pleased with the uh, with how the head sculpts come out as well. Overall, the head sculpt is actually a uh, a chip from Series Two figure, but I've uh, I've uh, cut off a lot of the um, a lot of the original sort of face and hate uh, and hair and the uh, hat and smoothed it all out. And then added on the um, added on you know the, the smoothed over the features with Millipart to make it look a bit more uh, the right uh, size and shape. And then for the handles, I've just used some simple bits of wire 
combined with a bit of mill apart just to you know make it look a bit more sort of um, fluid in terms of how they come out of the head. They're not perfect in terms of their shape, but I'm, I'm still pretty pleased with how they've come out. And then obviously I've also used some spare uh, piping to do the bits on the shoulders as well. Obviously, if you've got a Tomb Cyber Controller spare, um, this is a very good, uh, a very good, uh, a very good body to use. Obviously, I've used, used the new uh, normal Tomb Cyberman, but a Tomb Cyber Controller would work better because you haven't got to do all the sculpting on the torso, and you've already already got the shoulder bits on there. Um, obviously, the boots are different. You've got shoes on that, but again, you know, a little bit of artistic license there. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with the finished product. In terms of the head sculpt, I am going to try and make some uh, head sculpts uh, to put up for sale on my uh, eBay, but at the time of recording, and probably at the time you're watching this video, they probably won't be up yet because I'm not going to actually do the casting for them until the new year, um, but I'm going to try and do some uh, test castings, I should say, over Christmas and I will know then if it's going to work. It's the handles that worry me. I'm not sure how well they're going to come out. Um, you know, and, and, it, and it's difficult to... I could sculpt them, sculpt the head without the handles and then people add in the wire themselves, but where I've added on some sculpting on the wires, it does mean that uh, they are a bit of a necessity, so we'll have to wait and see. But either way, if, um, if they are uh, made available, there will obviously be a, a, a link in the pinned comment to my eBay. If they are unsuccessful, I will put a, a thing in the pinned comment confirming that sadly uh, they haven't worked out. But even if they don't work out this time, I'm going to you know keep at it and see what um, see what uh, things I can do because it is one that I still I know would be popular and I you know I know people would uh, would like. So you know even if I do fail this time, I will still have a go at trying to make some head sculpts for them and hopefully making them available in future for uh, people to buy. Fingers crossed the sculpting and moulding goes well. But that brings to a close another live from the workshop. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share. It really helps me out a lot. And be sure to click the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so. And funding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all and I will see you with another video very soon.